Michael from the Camp Lorians. Uh, yeah, what's going on with my hair? I need to get a haircut. I usually wear a hat, and I just was just too lazy to do it. But today, I want to talk about a little solution we came up with to solve a problem that a lot of people have had with their trailers, which is the back doors opening. That is not good. You don't want to be on a trip all happy and get to your campground and look in the back of your trailer and the doors are wide open while your stuff's gone. That is not fun. Hasn't happened to me personally. I know it's happened to some folks in the group and uh, we want to help prevent it. We've seen a bunch of cool solutions out there. Here's just a different one that's very inexpensive, very easy to do, only takes a couple minutes. We hope you like it. Please subscribe, like, and hit the bell to be alerted when we have more content for you. And by doing that, that helps us bring us more content to you. So please help us out and let's get into this video. So the main component of this solution to keep the door shut is a little device called a turnbuckle. They're not very expensive and they're kind of cool. Basically it is threaded at both ends and either end has a hook or an eyelet on it. And as you spin the middle in one direction or the other, it will tighten or loosen how close or how far apart those hooks or eyelets are. So these will attach to some D-rings or shackles or anchors as you might call them that are going to be on either side of the door on the inside. What I did and what you might want to do is mock it up by laying it down and measure and set the turnbuckle to be in about the halfway position so you can see where the D-ring is going to wind up and then measure between the two holes on the insides that will be drilled into either door so that you know that you'll be able to tighten it up and loosen up and get it off of the D-rings. Uh, laying it out on a table like this with a ruler is really useful. I used five and a half inches so it was two and three quarters was the center of the door and that seemed to work out pretty good for me. So here's what it looks like installed. I don't think there's a whole lot to explain there. You just drill in four screws to each of the D-rings and cinch up the um, turnbuckle in the middle to hold the door shut. And when I'm not traveling, uh, I like to use a piece of Velcro to just keep the turnbuckle secured um, to the left side there. You can do it on the right side, doesn't matter. But basically that allows you to open the doors and it's not flopping around. So uh, one safety note, uh, do make sure that when you are camping at night that you have undone that so that you do have a fire escape if you need to get out the back doors. Um, that's probably the only downside of this is that you do need to remember to do that and we all want you to be safe and God forbid there's a fire in your trailer, you will want to be able to get out. So I hope that was useful and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please like the video. Please subscribe and please hit the bell to be notified when we have new content. This helps us out and it helps us bring more content to you. Thanks, see you next time.